Democratic members of the House Intelligence Committee revealed in advance that Michael Cohen was coming back to privately testify again today because he had something new and big up his sleeve. Cohen underlined this point today when he showed up to Congress with a few suitcases full of evidence in hand, making for a stunning visual in front of the television cameras. So what was inside the suitcases? The only thing we know so far is that Michael Cohen brought documents proving that Donald Trump's lawyers instructed him to lie to Congress in 2017. That's suborning perjury and obstruction of justice, so assuming the evidence holds up, Trump's lawyers will have to cut a plea deal against him or go to prison. But that's just the start of what today brought. For all we know, Cohen's three suitcases could have been mostly empty. Maybe it was mostly for show. Or maybe he brought his own copies of the documents that the House Judiciary Committee just requested from 81 Trump-related people and entities. That, of course, is the whole point. These people all now have to worry that if they simply destroy incriminating documents, they might get nailed for it because House Democrats may now have the documents anyway. Considering that Michael Cohen apparently sent Jay Sekulow to prison today, the rest of Donald Trump's people have to very much worry that Cohen's suitcases might have been full of evidence against them as well. They're now in a no-win situation. Do they turn over the documents? Do they refuse to cooperate and cross their fingers? Do they just cut plea deals now? Any innocent people have nothing to worry about, but any guilty people are now screwed.